Hello, my name is Ivan and today I will be explaining three features Miracast, YDI and DLNA. So what is Miracast? I'm sure you've heard this word before but you couldn't figure out what it really was. This is because the Miracast name is actually a standard and you will not see it in a smartphone device. Rather, you will see names like screen mirroring or smart share. That's because device manufacturers are not obliged to use Miracast names so they choose their own trademarks. The word Miracast means mirror casting and simply put it, it's HDMI via Wi-Fi, so no cables. You only need Miracast compatibility from both ends and you'll be able to project your screen onto an out screen. In theory, Miracast is a great standard, but in practice it's quite limited. It only offers display mirroring. You cannot use multitasking, which means that you cannot, for example, project a movie on the screen and at the same time use a browser or write an email without interrupting the display. Now, let me show you how this applies to Windows Phone. In Windows Phone, the Miracast standard is called Project My Screen and you can find it under the settings menu of your Lumia device. Since I don't have a compatible TV to show you how you can project your screen, I will show you another use of Project My Screen setting. You can, for example, use it to project your smartphone's display on the computer. This is quite a nice feature, but it's not wireless. You will need USB connection between your phone and the PC. Once connected, it will install the drivers needed for it to function and sometimes you also need to restart your computer if it doesn't want to initiate the program. The application is here. It's install Project My Screen on the website windowsphone.com. I have already installed the application, so let's double click and allow screen projection on my phone. So as you can see, it's working smoothly. There is uh, quite nice options. Let's go to settings. Project my screen. And advanced. It's a bit hidden this feature but it's really really nice. So show touch. Let's enable it. Now you can see we have a circle. That circle is showing the exact location where I am pointing. That would be very useful. Okay, now let's um, talk about another application which uses the Mirka standard. It's called Lumia Beamer. I have already downloaded this application on my device. You also need to go online on your PC to lumiabeamer.com because it works by scanning a QR code and displaying the phone's display on the computer screen. So if we minimize it here and we go to Lumia Beamer you have two options share nearby which we will use by scanning QR code or share remotely okay now let's go here it's scanning you'll be prompted with an option how to beam shake to update manually or auto update let's auto update we are online let's full screen that okay and see how it works okay as you can see it's very 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 laggy if we want to stream a YouTube video on the big screen, you'll see that so let's it's get not really worth it. Tour of Windows Holographic. Now before we start, let me explain the setup a little bit. Darren? I don't like that. But if you want to use that feature, you, it's best to use it for pictures. because the lack is not that important because the pictures are coming anyway so that's about it but um, 
Miracast. Let's move on to WideEye. The second feature that I want to explain is WideEye. WideEye stands for Wireless Display and it's an upgrade to the Miracast standard developed by Intel. It allows multitasking so you can stream multimedia wirelessly from a compatible computer to a compatible WideEye device while you are checking your email or chatting with a friend. If one of the devices does not support WideEye or Miracast, you can still enable them with the help of a wireless display adapter or a dongle, like the one here on Microsoft's page. Just search for Wi-Fi certified, which is the Miracast standard, or the Intel WideEye logo. And finally, what is DLNA? It stands for Digital Living Network Alliance and it enables sharing of digital media between two devices. You can multitask while using it and it will not stream your screen. DLNA can be experienced via a couple of applications that I will show you now. The first application is Lumia Play 2. What it does is it streams your multimedia files straight to your PC, but you need to have Windows Media Player opened. I have it here opened. Make sure that in stream you have both these options enabled, allow and remove control of my player and automatically allow devices to play my media. Once you have this done, let's go to project my screen app, show you. Application is already installed on my device, Lumia Play 2. We click on that. And as you can see you have three options. Photos, videos and music. Let's try with photos. We go to photos and we have pictures here. So let's stream them to Rumbo. Rumbo is the name of my PC. Tap to connect and we are inside. As you can see Windows Media Player changes immediately showing the picture that I wanted to display. Working flawlessly. You can do the same with videos and music as well okay so let's see now another application which is also very neat it's called smart player we go there you have a couple of options its primary job is giving you direct access to Windows Media Player library you have uh, also more options as you can see like access to your cloud so let's uh, let's try with accessing the library content we have music videos and pictures you need to have uh, Unios Media Player open to have more options let's go to music all music we have three files here if we go to uh, LK Rainbow and we go to libraries you have the shared files here you know that you will not find them on the desktop or anywhere else you need to go here music sample music you have all three files here as you have them here so let's do it for example let's see what we have here we have two options you can stream it on the device or on the PC so let's stream it on the device music play Perfect, it's working. Okay, now let's stream it on the PC. Perfect, it's working on the PC. So now we have a remote control in our hands, as well as a DLNA enabled device. Another options would be you could save this music file to your device if you want to or add it to a playlist. You can do the same with uh, videos and pictures as well. But they are all located here in the library so search for them in sample videos or sample pictures. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to share this video if you thought it was useful. Like it if you like it. 
please like it if you dislike it leave a comment if you have any opinions or suggestions for future videos if you want to see more videos of this kind you can subscribe to my channel there is also windows phone tips facebook page for more information please check the link down in the description below thank you